Hi, Jan here, welcome back to the channel. And today we're filming in our smallest room, or as I call it, the coldest room, because we don't have the heating on in here at the moment. So quick tour, we've got the basin, the mirror, the loo, the window, the light switch, and the radiator. And this is where I also store my bleach and the disinfectant from the garden. But the reason I'm going to hand over to Neil now, because there's not enough room for me to the reason for today's video is I was watching um, Karen from Prime of Midlife this morning, who's doing the uh, the twenty pounds a week budget challenge, and she just, as a throwaway comment, said um, that she was going to buy some loo paper because everybody's got to buy loo paper, and I just thought, no, they don't. Half the world's population doesn't use loo paper as it is. And going back to the world toilet paper shortage, I thought at that time, what would I do if I couldn't get hold of toilet paper at all? You know, because everyone was just going to pieces at that time. Do you remember? You know, and Neil can talk and join in if he wants yes. to. But, you know, you had armed guards in Australia um, around pallets of toilet paper. You had fights breaking out in shops. This stuff was like gold dust. And it's like... Why? And I just decided for myself as a challenge, I would stop using it completely because we've got three loos in the house. Two of them, we have these shower attachments. So you can sit on the loo and you can wash yourself and then spray it off clean. Yeah. And, you know, so you're nice and clean. I also come from a time when um, we didn't have soft toilet paper. You know, when I was little, all that we had, even at home, but in um, schools, hospitals, any public building, they just had that um, hard Isle paper that, as children, we used well, to use horrid. it. As, we used to use it for tracing paper. You know, yeah. it was that hard, yeah. and it's no good for drips or anything. So, at home. We used an old flannel, just no face face cloth for drips, and that just used to go straight into into the wash. And then you'd use the eyes all for anything else. But I thought, well, you know, if I'm washing myself with the shower, I don't want to dry myself on the hand towel. No, no, of course. Because that wouldn't be pleasant. But if I use one of these, and you know, these are so cheap. It, because I mean, you can get the the it's just a a face cloth or a washcloth. Yeah, it's exactly the same fabric as the towels are made out of. You know, normally you can get a face cloth and a hand towel and a bath towel all in the same range. So just get a load of cheap ones of these. Wash yourself, dry, and you know, I've even got my soap here. So I can wash myself, dry myself. And then I've got a little bin down there that I put used ones in. So, so I mean, they're only wet because you've washed yourself. But once once you've washed and dried, then they go in the bin and then they just get chucked in the washing machine when I do the washing. So I just thought I would bring that tip to you as um, if you're following the channel because you're frugal or because you're a prepper. I see these preppers, um, haul, not hoards, um, what would you call it, stores, Yeah. absolutely loaded up with paper products. And I think, A, it's real estate, the amount of space that you take up using loads and loads and loads of, of paper products and b it is quite literally money going down the toilet and um, you know another thing and you can drop a comment below about what you do when i when i do use paper i take three squares and then i fold it in three and then in half again you know and i'm quite sure that there's quite a few people who, some may live in this house, some may, may not, who do this sort of thing. I can't even do it because I've never done that, but <laughs> Neil will demonstrate <laughs> for you if you need. I mean, there is a skill to it, but I'm sure that people do that. Would I be right? No comment. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't do it like that. <laughs> well, I'll roll you back up. Oh, what have you done now? I've done an Andrex puppy. <laughs> and, you know, I was when I thought about making this video, I had a quick look on the uh, Sainsbury shopping app at the price of Loo Roll. And uh, they price it 
each brand is is priced per hundred it, it's it's SHTS meaning sheets, but I always read it as something else. <laughs> Have you seen what? Why don't you look at what you want to? Have you seen what she's doing down there? <laughs> <laughs> It'll get you. What do you like? That, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not one of these people who does a little V on. <laughs> Obviously not. Have you seen this? Like... <laughs> I very rarely use this loo anyway. This is mainly Neil's loo and the one that we flush the dog poo down. <laughs> uh, but I was saying about the price of, of toilet paper and it was ranging from 11p per, per sheet. <laughs> I just I struggled to say sheet there. 11p per sheet right up to nearly almost £5 a sheet for 100 sheets. 11p per hundred or nearly five pound per hundred five pound per hundred literally throwing money down the toilet you might as well use a five pound note <laughs> <laughs> except they're shiny now you're back to the eyes well, or aren't you? Well, they wiping their bum on gold leaf <laughs> <laughs> well I, I i just think and you know i mean there are certain cultures who wouldn't use paper yeah. because they say it's just not hygienic you know if you've got anything nasty on your hands you wouldn't rub it off with a piece of paper and say that's it clean would you you'd wash your hands with yeah exactly. and i i totally agree so i've actually got neil here partly to film me but also because these i've had these for God, 20 odd years now haven't i, I think. yeah well, I'm and i i only paid about 10 pounds for them on amazon i had a look earlier and the the price have gone up as you'd expect so they're anything between about 13 and 20 quid now but yeah. neil's a plumber so he fitted them for me so would so you like to explain obviously that's just a little bracket on there and the hose and it just goes down and connects into um i've just joined it into the, the supply that supplies the um uh, the toilet supply yes uh, uh, into the cold water well, it's actually just used a t on there um to do it but you can actually if you've got a straight bit of pipe you can actually get um clamp on t's that will actually set you actually um you actually bolt them over one either side of the pipe and then it actually self taps into the pipe and you used to get them um from home base and uh being q and places like that for um adding like a washing machine tap so that it's mm. like a self tapping tap. so you can use those to then put the connector on, on for those small yeah, showers and this one is a cold water only you yes. can get them that do hot and cold that are thermostatically controlled so that you're not going to burn your bits a bit more, yeah. but the thing is you're not it's not like stood in the shower singing you know you, you're just rinsing off really quickly and even in the middle of winter you just don't notice it once, once you're used to it you just just the trouble is you'd have, to run it, you'd have to run it so much before the warm came through anyway it's probably just not as you say it's just mm. not worth it. i think that's why we didn't bother so but for the price of one of those and you know say a dozen of your flannels, flannels. there you know it's you'd make you'd be in profit within two months and if there's more than one person in the house you know it brings the time span right down closer and closer if you get the whole family doing it mm. and if you have got a whole family just buy different colors each so you're not using each other's yeah even though you're going to wash them in between uses but you know you could like because we always have different color bath towels don't we so we never yes. accidentally pick up the wrong one but anyway that was today's video it's uh vlogtober and it's october 15th today isn't it so it this is, is yes. my 15th video in a row brilliant <laughs> so uh, i'm sorry it's come down to this <laughs> <laughs> where does it go from here for the rest of the month <laughs> but i hope that you found something of value in this video and um don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it <laughs> and um i will see you again tomorrow now neil's giving me strange looks because he's holding the phone he's recording and he doesn't know how to stop the video okay do you want me to stop uh, wait a minute, I'm just saying, I haven't said goodbye properly yet, okay. and you haven't said goodbye at all, but, uh, so anyway, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. How many minutes is there? Uh, I don't know, I'm blind with glasses, nine minutes. Oh, well, that's probably more than enough on the subject yeah. of toilet paper and how to wash your bum. 
so thank you very much for watching if you got this far don't forget to put in the comments do you fold or do you roll on <laughs> or do you make that sort of mess or do you already wash instead so anyway take care lots of love bye bye